Hi guys, this is Sandy from The Paddle School and in this video today we're going to look at the three most common errors for the forehand side. Now the forehand is considered one of the more basic shots but all the way through the levels there are some really important mistakes that players are making and in this video we're going to cover those. Common error number one is trying to hit too much spin on the ball. Players, they come to the paddle court and they realise that slice is a good shot, it bounces, hits the glass and stays down. So what happens is that players are trying to create so much spin on that ball and they're chopping down the ball, therefore they're not getting a good contact and more often than not they're making a mistake on the ball. If they want to hit slice, you can hit through the ball horizontally with the racket face slightly open and that's going to create slice. You do not need to come chopping down on that ball because all that does is make the contact very difficult for you to hit a good shot. You want to keep that shot simple. So you start with the racket back and in a nice compact shot you kind of come forward and most of the time you want to hit relatively flat. If the ball is above chest height, yes, that is a good time to be a bit more aggressive and hit a little bit of slice on it, but you don't need to overwhelm your opponent with spin. Keep it simple, nice control on the ball. That is the first common error. The second common error is distance from the ball. Now this has two parts to it. The first part is judgment. Players are just often judging that ball so it's too close to their body or too far apart. And that is really down to experience and hitting more balls. And the second part of this is that they're not turning their bodies and often they're playing their forehand with an open stance. Now when you're learning the game, especially from the back of the court, you want to get into the habit of turning your body, keeping the racket to the side nice and compact and moving with the ball. Particularly if it's going to go off the back glass and then you're going to play it because that's the position you'll be in for that, but also before the back glass. So you only really open stance and lunge if the ball is out of reach and then you move and you hit the ball like that. The majority of the time you want to turn your shoulders get into a good position and contact to the side. The third most common error is to do with the power of the shot. Because the forehand is usually the most comfortable shot, this is when players try and hit that ball the hardest. They either hit the ball so hard that they lose control or they always hit hard and therefore it's predictable for the opponents. Whether they're in this position and they step and they hit open stance, they usually hit hard and flat, and whether they turn their shoulders and turn their hips and they hit from the side, they often hit at a pace that is too obvious for their opponents. So the forehand is a great opportunity to change the speed of the ball. They should be able to, when that racket goes back, hit down to the feet, hit a lob, or hit faster body, and the opponents shouldn't know which of those you're going to hit. This might sound a bit contradictory because the first error, I'm talking about keeping it simple and not hitting too much spin, and the last error, I'm talking about people hitting too simply, hitting the ball too predictably, where they need to hit with a little bit more variety. What I'm trying to say is that you need to keep your technique simple so that you're in a good position for that ball and you hit the ball with simple technique that cannot go wrong, but at the same time, show variation of the shot. Now, if you want to see more common errors, please check out the playlist where I've gone through all the shots and go through all the common errors. If you can eradicate those common errors, I'm sure that that will improve your game immediately.